Bob and company are on the big screen, and when you move to a bigger place, you gotta make a few big changes too. Did you mean to wave your arms all over the place while falling into the hole? Cause if so, you nailed it. That's why we're talking about some of the big changes the Bob's Burger movie has made from their regular show to the big screen. Some of these changes obviously include spoilers. You've been warned. Number one. While we've all fallen in love with the animation style of Bob's Burgers, who doesn't love a little upgrade? While most of the series is animated to look evenly lit, flattening most of the images on screen, the film now has shadows on each character to create a little more depth. This also adds to the more ominous elements of the plot in the film, which we'll cover a little more later in the video. Along with these added shadows are many more frames of movement, so the characters we've gotten used to are coming alive in a different, more vibrant way. Not that most of them needed any more energy. Number two. I'm sure Bob took this next bit of news pretty well. Bob's constant rival, Jimmy Pesto, will not be appearing in the film, nor will his character due to personal problems with the character's voice actor, Jay Johnston. Jay was present during the January 6th Capitol riots in the United States. Oh yeah, that's better. Number three. We all love Gene's musical numbers, but they could use a bit of a budget bump. While the creators wanted to make a movie that was familiar, they also wanted to reward fans with some beefed up musical numbers to enthrall their audience. So for this Belcher outing, chose to make it a musical comedy. The series was never too scared to have a musical number or two, but a bigger budget for the film means the creators can go wild and really dig into these fun moments for the film. The movie definitely has cast some great musical talent with Tim Day Davies hired to compose the score of the film, with show creator Lauren Bouchard and writer Nora Smith writing the songs, and some added time spent on the animated choreography to make the musical moment shine. Gene must be so happy. Yes! Oh, thank God. Number four. If we know anything about animation, it's all in the details. As previously stated, the film has a much bigger budget, and with that comes a crew that's been given the time and resources to spend way more time creating and drawing each scene. As Bouchard stated, I selfishly always want Bernard to draw the whole thing, and on the movie we could almost do that. That means the design and all the characters, main or supporting, have a much closer touch than they do in the series. Number five. Our favorite bank robber, Mickey, has gone through as many career changes as voice actors who have played him. Oh, this is gonna be fun, you guys. Originally voiced by comedian Bill Hader, Mickey was then voiced by creator Lauren Bouchard himself. After viewers said they missed Mickey's original voice actor, he was then voiced by John Kubin, as Bill Hader still had scheduling conflicts with the film. But it's just a voiceover, man. Just send a voice message with the lines or something. Oh, this? It's all my boogie gear. Looks like trash. Number six. Luis is famous for her intelligence, mischievousness, and most importantly, her signature look. Louise is almost always seen with a pink, rabbit-eared hat, reminding us that despite her veteran-level schemes, she is still a child. But us viewers never knew the origin of those famous ears despite 13 seasons of television. Luckily, the film finally fills us in on the origin story, that Linda actually made the bunny ears and sewed them onto an existing hat that belonged to Bob's mother. Mama! 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 There's more to it than that, but hey, this ain't the movie. This is just a fun video about it. Go watch the movie if you really want to know. You know how I get. Get off of me! Number seven. Don't worry, Gene. They've got you covered this time. While the average episode of Bob's Burgers tends to focus on one or two individual characters as an A story, with maybe a simple B plot for the other characters, the Bob's Burger movie has enough time to give every member of the Belcher family some much needed time in the spotlight. Even Teddy, not part of the Belcher family proper, gets some much needed character moments. All in all, a complete package for the dedicated Bob's Burger fans out there. Number eight. Famed Bob's Burger TV reporter Olsen Benner has also got a new voice for her film debut. Keen-eared viewers will notice that the character's voice is a little different. Where they were shooting a music video for their newest single, I'll Love You For Everest. Originally voiced by Pamela Alden, who famously voiced Spinelli in Recess, Bobby Hill on King of the Hill, as well as some other characters for Bob's Burgers, Olsen Benner is now voiced in the film by comedian Nicole Byer, whose voice acting credits include Family Guy, Guy, Invincible, and the Rugrats reboot. Are all running out. Oh no! Voice for an hour in trouble. Oh my god, my sweet sweet booba! Number nine. 
The film's a little darker and not just due to the shading of the characters. Showrunners who turn their programs into a feature-length film have an interesting hurdle to overcome that most filmmakers do not. Oh yeah? I couldn't tell. That hurdle is figuring out how to make the show more appealing to a film-going audience while keeping the attention of dedicated fans. The key to keeping the audience engaged across the board is to raise the stakes and give the characters a conflict that could not easily be resolved in 20 minutes as you do when writing the show. This means that fans can expect the plot of the Bob's Burger movie to be more involved and dramatic than what they would normally see on the show. This time around, the plot revolves around a crime, which is a bit darker than your usual Bob's Burger episode. Now, this doesn't mean the film isn't the light-hearted jaunt which fans have come to love about the show, just that for their film debut, the Belchers are dealing with something bigger and out of their ordinary weird circumstances. I'm sure Luis was thrilled. These foodies are showing some spine and I like it! Again! Number 10. The Belchers are a pretty average, if awkward and weird family. But even in a full-length feature film, even an ordinary family must go on an extraordinary adventure. Lauren Bouchard, who we mentioned earlier, the creator, director, writer, everythinger of Bob's Burgers, stated that they really want this to feel like something that just leaps across the bounds of what you would see on the series. And the film certainly has a grander scale than the smaller hops a single episode might have. Number 11. Another big screen debut, another new voice actor to cover. Wagstaff student Harley, who was most famously the unpopular guest of Louise's sleepover, was originally played by Katie Crown, a voice actor known for voicing Izzy on Total Drama Island. For the movie, however, Katie was replaced by Ashley Nicole Black for the character's film debut. Ashley Nicole Black has also begun voicing Miss Jacobson, a teacher from Wagstaff since season 12. Regardless of the actor who plays her, Louise is not too thrilled to have Harley involved in any way. Is that why you dance weird in dance class? Shut up, Harley. Number 12. Season 12 Bob's fans will not be surprised by this one. During the openings of season 12 of Bob's Burgers, a crack had been slowly getting bigger and bigger outside their famous burger joint. This was always intended to lead into the film, where the crack becomes the massive sinkhole in front of the business, creating a massive problem for the family and driving the narrative of the film. This also puts the film right in the timeline between season 12 and 13, pretty obviously. The Bob's Burgers movie is Disney's first hand-drawn animation since 2011, and we're so happy to see it. Those were all the biggest changes we noticed from the Belcher's family move to the big screen. Anything you noticed that we didn't mention? Let us know below. If you enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on more secrets in your favorite animated things. And thanks for stopping by The Things Animated.